Please be seated. <laughs> Reverend Todd Bowling, University Chaplain, will offer the invocation. Following the invocation, TCU's Concert Chorale, under the direction of Director of Choral Activities and Associate Professor of Music, Dr. Christopher Osmus, will present a performance of Dominos Bobiscum. Good morning. Will you join me now as we pray together? Our gracious and loving God, we come to you this morning with passionate hearts and open minds as we begin yet another academic year. We are grateful for the opportunity we have to be here in this place as members of this community. We stand ready to both offer and receive the knowledge and wisdom necessary to make those passions a reality. We pray that you might offer each of us the strength and focus needed to be good stewards of this opportunity. Empower each of us to take good care of this community, reminding us that this world is in desperate need of ethical leaders and responsible citizens. And while we are equipped to be exactly that, help us to remember that we must consciously choose to act on it each day in every decision that we make. Open our eyes to see the deep needs of the world around us and help us to discover how we might use our gifts and abilities to see those needs met. We realize that we need not look far to be reminded of those needs, as so many people around the world have been impacted by racism, the pandemic, and natural disasters. Where there is hurt God, we pray for healing. Where there is injustice, we pray for justice to be done. Where there is loss, we pray for provision. Where there is devastation, we pray for hope. And where possible, help us to be the tools you use to deliver them. Be with us now, God. We ask for your blessings to be with us not only today, but throughout this academic year. We pray and ask these things in your name. Amen.
congrats to the whole, all the members of the TCU Concert Chorale. And thank you to the university organist and professor of music, Joseph Butler, for performing the processional and the recessional. And thank you, Reverend Bowling, for the lovely invitation. What a great way to usher in a new academic year. Before we commence, I would like to convey our gratitude to the land upon which our campus now thrives. We respectfully acknowledge all Native American peoples who have lived on this land since time immemorial. TCU especially acknowledges and pays respect to the Wichita and affiliated tribes upon whose historical homeland our university is located. Students, colleagues, trustees, and friends, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to Paul Convocation. Today, we inaugurate the 2021 uh, 2022 academic year. At the beginning of every academic year, we become acquainted with new students and colleagues and reacquainted with those who are returning. And each new academic year brings a fresh set of opportunities. Today, we discuss our aspirations for this academic year and beyond. We also present some of the university's most prestigious awards. The Wasilek Award for Mentoring in the TCU Community, the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Award, the inaugural Mary Rose Short Teaching Excellent Award, and the Chancellor's Award for Distinguished Achievement as a Creative Teacher and Scholar. It is now my privilege to introduce today's platform party. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. In case you don't know him yet, um, on my left is Chancellor Bushini. Uh, beside him is Dr. Joni Murray, Professor of English in Agrian College of Liberal Arts and Chair of the Faculty Senate. Behind them to the right is Dr. Vanessa Roberts Bryan, Executive Director of Leadership and Student Involvement and Chair of the Staff Assembly. Next to her is Mr. Laurent Cunningham, President of Student Government Association. And beyond is Ms. Leslie Epke, President of Graduate Student Senate. Um, to my right, we have Dr. Newell Williams, President of Bright Divinity School, as you've heard from Doc, uh, Reverend Todd Bowling, University Chaplain, and Dr. Jane, or James Rodriguez, Assistant Professor of Voice and Voice Pedagogy, College of Fine Arts. We also have 29 new full-time faculty members that I'd like to recognize by school and college if you're here. So as I call out the school and college, would you stand any new faculty members and um, remain standing and we'll recognize you at the end. So we'll start with faculty from Adrian College of Liberal Arts, Bob Schieffer College of Communication, College of Education, College of Fine Arts. Am I, am I getting any hits here? Okay. <laughs> Harris College of Nursing and Health Sciences, the John B. Roach Honors College, the Neely School of Business, the School of Interdisciplinary Studies, and the TCU and UNTHSC School of Medicine. Please join me in a round of applause. And now we will hear from our four campus governance leaders in the order of Dr. Jody Murray, Dr. Vanessa Roberts Bryan, Mr. Laurent Honeycutt, and Ms. Leslie Eckley. I am honored to serve as the chair of the Faculty Senate this year and welcome everybody. I'm a first generation college student who attended public schools, went into the military, and then found my calling in higher education. Along the way, I leaned on many people who helped me strive to achieve my goals. We faculty want you all to succeed, whatever that means to you. I urge you to get to know us. Come to office hours, sure, but more than that, tell us your stories, your dreams. We're here to listen, encourage, and when asked, offer some advice. Unless you're from Florida. If you're from Florida, don't talk to us at <laughs> Just kidding. All of us at TCU faculty, staff, and other more experienced foreign frogs are here to help you reach your goals. Dream big, work hard, play hard. And in the words of the great American bard, Walt Whitman, I am large, I contain multitudes. Thanks, remember to mask up and protect the purple. Thank you, Dr. Murray. Um, good morning, fellow Horn Frogs. 
It is truly an honor to be with you today and representing TCU Staff Assembly as their chair. Um, I'm pleased to be here welcoming in the new academic year, welcoming all our new faculty, staff, and our new students. As we look forward with optimism, I want to take a moment to express sincere gratitude to the extraordinary staff who have gone to great lengths during this pandemic to ensure that TCU thrives and our students have an incredible experience. To the housing, dining, housekeeping, facilities, grounds, and public safety staff, thank you for serving our students with care and compassion, ensuring that their TCU home continues to be safe and inviting. To the finance, advancement, IT, library, marketing, and academic support staff, thank you for navigating an unpredictable and often rocky road with courage and dedication, ensuring that TCU remains a world-class learning environment. To the student affairs and athletic staff, thank you for your unwavering commitment to our students the countless hours dedicated to cultivating a place of belonging for our students were critically important during this time of uncertainty. As we turn to greet the new year with enthusiasm and hope in our hearts, I challenge each of us to find places on campus where we can make a difference. We each have the potential to contribute to TCU in meaningful ways. We are called by the TCU core values to live into our heritage of service in pursuit of the greater good. We can do this by committing to serve one another in small ways with great care. No act of service, no act of kindness, no smile or greeting is too small to contribute to the greater good of our community. I look forward to serving alongside each of you this year. Go Frogs! Welcome. 
Um, my name is Leslie Ake, and I serve as the Graduate Student Center President for the 2021-2022 academic year. Laurent and myself also serve as the first African Americans to be in both positions at T. It is hard to believe that we have begun another academic year. Undoubtedly, this past year has been a year like any other. I am very proud of how our community members at various levels have responded. Despite the weight of social distancing for much of the year, we have found creative ways to interact, connect, learn, and support one another. While we face new challenges in these uncertain times, we also proved to be resilient and found new opportunities to thrive as a community. I am appreciative to each of you for your unique spirit of perseverance. Whether you are a new and or returning undergraduate or graduate student, faculty or staff, I wish you well and the best in your endeavors this year and forthcoming. As we continue to maneuver through this new normal, I want to remind you that you are a central part of the TCU community. I would also like to assure you that the Graduate Student Senate is enthusiastically working on scholar-led initiatives for our community members. We are interested in learning how we can better engage and serve the community so that true inclusive excellence is obtained. Thank you and go Fox. Goal number four is to strengthen our workforce, both our employees and our graduates. 
and lead on a campaign for TCU, our philanthropic campaign to fuel all this progress continues. We're grateful to the more than 48,300 donors who have contributed over $725 million in support of the campaign. Remember, we have a billion dollar goal, so we're getting much closer. Later, we'll be celebrating our new endowed faculty members and the generous donors who have created these positions through their support of the campaign. In addition this year, I plan to focus on three personal themes. One is to enhance and reconnect our connection culture, because we're all together again. Two is community, and I think we need to get back to that. And three is countdown. Countdown to our 150th year. This is my 19th year at TCU, and one of the defining characteristics I found about TCU is our connection culture. This place is special. People truly care about each other, and they help create a supportive and connected environment for everybody. Building community requires participation of all to reach the goal of inclusiveness. It also implies that each member of the TCU community bears the responsibility of reaching out to each and every other member to foster a campus culture that instills a greater sense of belonging. The loyalty and spirit of the TCU community always inspire. The power of our community has never been more apparent than in this past year. We have come together to protect the purple, and I'm counting on that in the year ahead. We are in contact mode. TCU is approaching its sesquicentennial, what's well, hard to say, and this involves the entire campus community in planning celebrations during the coming year. TCU began in 1873 with one building and 13 students in a place called Fort Spring, both singular, Texas. 149 years later, TCU is a vibrant community of scholars leading the way in addressing the challenges of our evolving society. I'm confident we will continue taking care of one another, learning from our challenges, stepping up to the high expectations of being part of this community, and changing the world for the better for the next 150 years, because that's just what Horn Frogs do. So thank you all, everyone in this room, for being here today. Thank you for your great work with your students. Thank you for your hard work as students. If you're faculty and staff, thank you for your hard work taking care of our students. Now I'd like to begin the presentations of the awards. First, we're going to do the presentation of the Wasnick Award. Now it is my pleasure to announce the Wasnick Award for mentoring in the TC community. The Wasnick Award was established by Mark and Lisa Linda Wasnick, two of our biggest supporters, to recognize and celebrate this defining characteristic of TCU for many, many generations. Mark's father, Paul Wasnick, and Linda's mother, Vera Stephenson, were students in TCU in the early days of the Great Depression. They benefited greatly from being mentored by people like Edwin Elliott, Professor of Economics, and Colby Hall, Dean of the University, and also Dean of Bright. Mark's parents, Paul and Ruth Wasson, carried on this tradition of mentoring during their long careers at TCU as a religion professor and a catalog librarian, respectively. Mentoring continues to be valued at TCU, and we celebrate it by presenting an award each year to a faculty or staff member to recognize its importance. The Wasnick Award carries a cash prize of $3,000 for the winner and $750 for each nominee. At this time, I'd like to recognize Mark and Linda Wasnick who are here with us today. Will you please stand and receive our greetings? which was charged with reviewing scores of nominations from students and alumni. Uh, it was, I, I should have said, finalists were selected by this year's committee. Here are this year's finalists. Mr. David Benoche, Associate Professor of Trombone School of Music, College of Fine Arts. Dr. Laura Luque, Instructor, Department of Biology, College of Science and Engineering. Ms. Lydia Mackey, Assistant Professor, Department of Theater, College of Fine Arts. 
Dr. Nino Testa, Associate Director of Women and Gender Studies, School of Interdisciplinary Studies, and Ms. Kim Turner, Executive Director of Student Governance and Traditions in Student Affairs. Please join me. Thank you very much, you can be seated. One of uh, the mentees of the, uh, the winner, and I hate that word winner, it's like eighth grade, my son's eighth grade football team. You're all winners, you know that. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Everybody gets a medal. But one person is the super specialist winner today. And one of the mentees of that person says, this person is an outstanding mentor. Even as I passed their courses and the mission came to a close, they guided me in the next part of my academic journey. They made it their personal mission to help me accomplish more steps to come closer to fulfilling my dream of becoming a doctor. They have helped so many of us, including my friends and peers, that I know they will continue to be an inspiration and a mentoring beacon of light throughout their teaching career, helping many more future students reach their dreams. Okay, first of all, it's amazing that one of our students would write that. That shows what great job we're doing with our students. That is a wonderful thought. Another colleague of this person writes, this person is a compassionate teacher and mentor who has an exceptional dedication to the welfare of their students, especially those from disadvantaged backgrounds who need extra help during their freshman and sophomore years to transition, to transition from high school into rigorous college-level courses. This person is not only a great teacher, but an exceptional mentor and a role model to their students. It is my honor and privilege to present the 2021 Wasnick Award for Mentoring in the TC Community to Dr. Laura Luque, instructor in
Ms. Ebony Rose, Senior Director of the And Dr. Nino Testa, Associate Director of Women and Gender accolades for advancing DEI at TCU by developing and leading campus-wide training programs on inclusion and sustaining excellence to influence positive change for everyone in our community. One colleague wrote this in her nomination of Ebony. I cannot think of another individual on TCU's campus who has worked harder to create a diverse, equitable, and inclusive campus more than Ebony Rose. She lives and breathes these values and has been for years. She contributes above and beyond, working hard to achieve a university verdant vision of TCU for everyone, regardless of status or position. Another colleague shares, she is someone who is not only the passionate, who is not only passionate and gifted in her work, but someone who inspires those same attributes in others. She is without question an individual who stands out above the rest in nearly everything she chooses to do. What Ebony Rose has accomplished during her time here has created ripples that have touched the lives of countless others, prompting them to create change as well. I believe you would be hard pressed to find someone who deserves it more. Kudos to Ebony, congratulations. Now, uh, Dr. Dauber will introduce the next award. the Mary Rose Short Teaching Excellence Award for the first time. This award was provided by the generosity of Dr. Dan Short, former dean of the Neely School of Business, in memory of his wife, Mary Rose Short, to establish a faculty award for teaching excellence within the university. Deans from the schools and colleges nominate exceptional, untenured, or non-tenured track faculty in their first five years. Um, and at the time that the selection is made. The award is a cash prize of $6,000 with the stipulation that 1,000 of that award be used by the awardee for a professional development activity. So I'm going to read off the list of nominees, and as I do, if you could please, if you're here, just stand and remain standing so that we can see you. Um, Dr. Mikio Akagi, Assistant Professor of History and Philosophy of Science, John B. Roach Honors College, Dr. Billy Greiser, Assistant Professor of Finance, Neely School of Business. Dr. Emily Person, Instructor of Applied Mathematics, College of Science and Engineering. Dr. Michelle Kinsey, Assistant Professor of Nursing, Harris College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Dr. Brandon Manning, Assistant Professor of English, Akron College of Liberal Arts. Ms. Sarah Newton, Instructor of Classical and Contemporary Dance, College of Fine Arts. Ms. Charity Robinson, Instructor of Film, Television, and Digital Media, Bob Schieffer, College of Communication, and Dr. Jennifer Smith, Assistant Professor of Professional Practice, College of Education. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Nikio. I can't think of a better recipient. 
Um, and now, um, I will introduce the finalists for the Chancellor's Award. So, to recognize the extraordinary creative teaching and scholarship that occurs at TCU, awards are given to a faculty member in each of the major academic divisions of the university to recognize these achievements. The criteria for these awards parallel those for the Chancellor's Award. Faculty are nominated, reviewed, and selected by their colleagues. The award is a certificate and a cash prize of $2,500. Additionally, the recipients of the school or college awards become the nominees for the Chancellor's Award. So I ask each of the recipients to come forward as your name is called, and I don't think um, the rest of us have to hold our applause until all have been presented. So first, Dr. Ariane Balazé, Professor of English, at Rand College of from the nominees that we just heard from the college winners. 
The supporting materials for each nominee are forwarded to the provost, who, in consultation with the deans, reviews the materials. These materials and the dean recommendations are then sent to the chancellor. So at this time, I ask Chancellor Rashidi to do the presentation of the award. I just have this really strange feeling that Ebony Rose is going to win this. <laughs> <laughs> I also, uh, the person who really won it, I had an interesting interchange with this person yesterday. This person wrote me an email about something totally unrelated to this award. And I wrote back, and before the days of all the Karens, I used to just write an email and send it. And now I overthink every email, reread every part of it correct, take anything out of it that anyone could boldly be offended at, even if I'm trying to say it nicely. And when I read it, I realized at the end of it, I said, and congratulations on the award. I'm like, oh, that's right, this person won't go until tomorrow. <laughs> so I took that part out and sent a bland, vanilla email that I now sent to everybody. It's a great privilege to present the 2021 Chancellor's Award for Distinguished Achievement as a Creator, Teacher, and Scholar. I congratulate each school and college nominee on your selection. And it's amazing every year, um, the deans meet and, and do the voting on this every year, and every year they, it's just harder and harder. Permit me though to share a few words about today's recipient. Since joining TCU in the fall of 2011, this person has established themselves as a valued teacher, researcher, mentor, and colleague, working at the intersection of teaching, research, and service. From a former student and one of the advisees of this person, said in the nomination form, this person is a powerful educator with expertise in their area and an educator who is invested in the success of their students. It is so rare to have a professor like this person who is a true expert in a field with also the ability to facilitate deep learning and exploration while continuing to distinguish themselves as a scholar. This person is an exceptional teacher, scholar, advisor, mentor, coach, <laughs> and especially a friend. From a colleague, they say, while their achievements are truly remarkable, it is critical to know that from December 2019 to December 2020, this person voluntarily served as the interim director principal of TCU's two laboratory schools, Star Point and Kinefrogs. This was a job that was supposed to last two or three months. One year later, this person was still in the job. This required this person to be on duty from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, managing the campuses, aiding the teachers, and working with children and their families, much of the time during an unparalleled global pandemic. It is utterly remarkable that they shouldered this demanding schedule and the complexities of this work while still managing to teach her classes, conduct and publish research, support the educational leadership area, and successfully assist her doctoral students. In their decade of service, they have accomplished milestones most collegiate teacher scholars never achieve during the breadth of a career. This person is an extraordinary member of the TC community who richly deserves the accolades commensurate with the Chancellor's Award for Distinguished Achievement as a Teacher and Scholar. It is now my distinct honor and privilege to present the 2021 Distinguished, Distinguished Achievement Award as a creative teacher and scholar to Dr. Joe Beth Jimerson. Dean and Associate Dean, uh, Frank Hernandez and Jim Cena for their support 
during that year and due to this my career. But most of all, I want to thank my colleagues for being transparent about their practice in teaching and research. We are who we are because of the people we're around. Um, I have not done a peer review of teaching since I've been here that I have been out of stealing something from a colleague. Uh, and implementing that has made me a better teacher. And um, the collaborations that have been possible at this university have certainly made me a better researcher. So uh, thank you all. Thank you. 
and the difficulty in doing that job, and then having to come every day and have a positive attitude and try to move us forward. So I want to say publicly in front of the 18 people that are here, <laughs> thank you, Teresa Dahlberg.